In this video, I'm going to show you the electrolysis of lead bromide. So I've got some lead bromide here. It's an ionic compound. Um, so it's white powder of this lead bromide. Um, and first of all, I'm just going to pour some into this crucible. Just completely surround the electrodes in there. First of all, I'm just going to test its conductivity. Um, and at the moment, there is an electric current being passed through it, and the light bulb has not lit. And just to prove that the circuit is working, I just touch that to complete the circuit, the light bulb lights. So at the moment, there's no current flowing because the lead bromide is solid and, and because it's solid, the ions are fixed in position and cannot change places. So I'm going to light the Bunsen burner and start to melt that lead bromide. Heat that up strongly. That will take a few minutes to, to melt completely. So I've turned the fume cupboard on now so it's a little bit noisier. And still waiting for the lead bromide to, to melt. starting to get very hot in there. So it is now just about starting to melt. Starting to get some liquid lead bromide in there. So you can see bits of lead building up on the spatula, so we've definitely produced lead in there. So it is conducting, it is electrolyzing. melting this a little bit more efficiently. There we go. So hopefully now you can see the bulb has lit. So there's the bulb. So we've definitely got an electric current flowing in there now. And if you look very carefully at the um, positive electrode, the anode, which is the electrode here, if you look very carefully, you'll be able to see that there are some bubbles around that electrode. Those bubbles are bromine gas. Another reason why we've got the fume covered on, because we don't want to get that bromine gas causing us any problems. I don't know whether we can see in there any evidence of lead. Certainly a bit of a metallic shine in there. And that's it. So the electrolysis of lead bromide and producing as its products lead and bromine. 